Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, we are going to see how to merge queries in Power BI Desktop. So once you have uploaded the data you, or imported the data with the various uh, data sources, the most basic and the most essential task that you will be doing out here is to merge queries. All right. Now there are two ways of merging the queries. Either you can merge the queries or either you can append the queries. So the one question that must be running into your mind right now that what is the purpose of uh, combining these queries or what is the purpose of merging these queries? The answer is quite simple guys. Now let's take for an example that I have one data set or let's say for example I have two data set in which I have one column which is common to both the data set. So while the time of projection what we'll be doing is we'll be creating, creating a different projection for one table and a different projection for another table. Why not to just create one projection by combining these queries in such a way that the data representation or the report generation becomes an easier task for us. Don't you think so guys? So this is what the purpose and this is what is the meaning or what is the agenda of merging the queries in Power BI desktop. So how to merge these queries in Power BI desktop? We'll be having a better understanding of this in our practical approach. Hello friends and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to merge queries in Power BI. So let's get started off. In our previous video, we have already learned how to append queries. This time we will be learning about how to merge queries using the practical approach. Okay, so let's get started off. Now uh, on to the extreme left side of my screen, you can see there are different queries. So we'll be searching for two queries with some common columns. I am as of now on the product queries which has the manufacturing column. So if you search uh, under the manufacturing queries you also have a manufacturer column. So we will be combining these two or merging these two using the merge queries button. So I will simply click on the merge queries drop down menu. Now there are two ways either I can merge a query in the existing uh, query or we can create a new query and it will be uh, creating a new query and this merge will happen in the new query itself. As of now we'll be just clicking on merge queries okay and uh, we have to uh, the moment I click on this merge queries this window will pop up right in front of you in which you can see the product uh, query in front of you. Now it is basically asking me you have to merge query with 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 which query so if you click on this drop down menu you can see I have this manufacturing query so I'll simply click on this manufacturing query now, as you can see uh, we both have these two columns so I'll simply click I want to uh, what do you say combine this with uh, this particular column so we have these two columns uh, being selected now the moment I select these two columns now you can see the selection has matched out of uh, match 2412 out of the first 2412 rows okay now if you see at the bottom of this particular window it is asking you for the join kind if you click on this drop down menu you can see there are so many jo joint uh, types that we can select from as of now we will just uh, select the left outer all the first matching with from the all the second so that's kind of join I will be searching for so I'll simply select this and let's hit ok and see what happens the moment I hit OK, another column has been created. Now it is basically showing you uh, if I click on this any entry, it is showing you the manufacturing ID and the column it has matched up to. Right. So if you click on any other, it is as of now, uh, you can see the manufacturer name and the manufacturer ID. So these are the two things. It is basically showing the record that has been uh, that is being common in these two queries alright so this is very simple uh, how to merge queries in Power BI alright uh, if you can simply go on this column and you can see there is a expand button if you simply click on this expand I just want these two use original com uh, column name as prefix so I will simply hit OK now I have the manufacturing ID here in front of me and if I move on to the uh, right hand side the very last column is the manufacturing name so I have the ID as well and I have the name of the manufacturer as well. Alright guys so this is all about how to merge queries in Power BI. Hopefully you like this video. See you until next time.